Hello again, YTPC. Happy to see you again. And thankfully my lighter worked. Well, it's not quite as, of course, I'm out here earlier today. It's not as warm as it was yesterday out here. So this video will probably be shorter. Just a quick check-in. Might show you something that I haven't shown. Yet, in my videos. Uh, sun's going to come out. Good. That'll help. How's everybody doing? Great. I hope. So, start off, I'll show you something that I, I bought probably a couple years ago, and I get, it's, it's just amazing. So, This is the excellent Elite Spanker Pack. Okay, so this is what I, when I travel, or if I'm just going somewhere local, this is where I keep all my pipe pipe stuff in. So you can see it's got pouches. You can keep. Tobacco in here. You can keep pipe cleaners in there. And it holds two pipes pretty easily. It also has pouches on the front, which will hold lighters. You can, you can slide lighters. There's two of them in here. It, it pretty much holds every anything you would want to take with you. On a day trip or even if you're traveling it also has a pouch in the front right here a big one you could actually wear it as a you know wear it on your belt that's what it's designed to do in the your your cell phone will fit in there I got a pretty decent sized cell phone that fits in there so just thought I would show that to you. I don't think I've ever shown it off. You can find them on Amazon easy enough. Not as windy today, so there are birds out today chattering, carrying on. And my cat's behind me in the window. <laughs> They're always very curious on what me or the wife are doing, what we're up to. So I'm smoking my Savinelli Lacorda again. In it, I have, I believe, Molto Dolce. And some cream soda. So I've gotten some comments. I knew it would happen and this is why I did it. I posted a video not too far back about just getting, you know, if you're outspoken on things that go against the narrative. You know, they tend to get taken down, blah, blah, blah. Folks, I bring this stuff up because it it's, it's an obvious problem. And uh, a lot of people just, one person in particular, they think, well, you know, YouTube, somebody owns this. This is what they want. They don't want certain content on there. They can just not allow it. 
Okay. I'm not denying that. At all. I'm not saying that that's not the case. What I'm saying is, is when you do that, though, you're taking away recourse. Okay? There's always two sides to everything. And to take one side away, you're actually hurting your platform by doing that. And I'm... I have no doubt YouTube un completely understands that. So there's more to it than just that. But you'll always have that conforming crowd, that group. Just go along with things. It's how it is. But anyway, just thought I'd put that out there. That's why I talk about these things. So, to get discourse, to get both sides. You know. Back to work tomorrow. Unfortunately, but I'm ready. I had a good break. I've had multiple calls from there about the issues. Sometimes it feels good, you know, actually being needed. It always feels good when you're, when you, you know, you feel like you're needed. Almost spring, gang. Another few weeks. We can be out here every day. I got a question for everybody. How many of you keep one of these with you all the time when you're smoking to clean out moisture? Am I the only... I mean... Is there more of us than there is fewer of us, or what? Because I have to, it, it, with most pipes that I own. It just makes a better draw. Gets rid of any gurgle that you end up getting. I'm just curious if you know more of us do that. <laughs> Because I have no idea. Guy on one of my face group pages, pipe pages, had some pipes for sale, up for discussion. And he had a, I believe it was a Savinelli Roma. Beautiful stem on it. Yeah. really beautiful pipe and I PM'd him on it asked him what he was looking for he wants 90 bucks I don't know I, I kind of want to pull a trigger but I think that is with shipping included though so he's not far off I might pull a trigger on it if it's still available it was beautiful. Kind of reminiscent to this. Um, it was rusticated. I think it had a gold band on it. I have to admit to myself now, I, have a, I am definitely a Savinelli person. I just love... I just love the look of Savinelli pipes. I really don't know how much of a... I'll have a collection, but it's going to probably be a collection of mostly Savinelli's, the way it's looking. It just smoked great. Beautiful. 
That's really the only two things I'm looking for, you know. Thought I'd be, and I somewhat am, thought I'd be phasing out of aromatics by now. I mean, I've been smoking a pipe for going on, well, it's been three years. Still love my aromatics. Uh, I have, as you all know, if you watch my channel, I have been more uh, transitioning into some flake tobaccos, vapors, what have you. Mostly uh, Kentucky, or uh, Virginia flakes, though, so not as much. I'm not really dabbling into the Perique vapors a lot. I've smoked a few. They were okay. Um, I enjoy the Lakelands a lot. Enterdale, love that. I'll continue to get that. So, as I said, this would just be a quick check-in. Thought I'd show you that travel pack that I have. Um, if you want more information on it, add, go ahead and ask. I can probably find it. But, like I said, I'm pretty sure I got it on Amazon. And I told you what the brand name was. So, trust me, they're worth, I think it was like $25 for that. Definitely worth the money. Um, does a really good job protecting my pipes. So if you do have, we, I discussed before about having pipes in the car. Have something like this. You keep them in there. They're protected. I hope everyone enjoys their Tuesday, as I will, to be sure. And uh, until next time, keep them lit.